Hello everyone, we are from team AI.org. As part of the machine reasoning course, we shall be presenting on our team's trustworthiness validation solution for background screening. First, we will give you an overview on the challenges of performing background screening. We will cover the solution benefits, our approach and architecture. Subsequently, we shall demonstrate the solution in the context of merchant onboarding. Finally, we will conclude and highlight some areas of improvement. Overview of the challenges. Background screening is a business critical process employed by many organizations, particularly the financial service industry, to lower operational risks and boost profitability by working with reliable partners and customers. However, to accurately verify clients' background and predict risk scores is a costly, manual, and high time consuming process involving multiple agencies and data registries. Our project focuses on streamlining a standardized screening process in organizations for trustworthiness validation. Our ultimate goal is to improve the project and establish it as the best industrial practice. This slide demonstrates architecture solution approach in the context of merchant onboarding use case. Users can access the merchant onboarding portal through a responsive Python web app via various devices like laptops and mobile phones, where the web app calls the solution via REST web service for background screening. The web service is hosted on JBPM server, where required third-party data service API can easily be integrated, such as web service to Accra to validate corporate information. Here are the solution benefits. First, it is fast in response and extensible. The rule engine enables parallel processing of business rules with support of multiple concurrent connections. In addition, the business rules can be easily customized via a user-friendly interface to suit current business process. Second, the solution has been validated in the financial services industry with uh, trial and tested deployments in multiple companies with iterative refinements from the team's subject matter experts. Third, the solution is cloud-ready. It can be deployed as a web services on-premises or on-cloud, enabling flexibility and scalability where required. Last but not least, the solution allows customers to save operational costs by reducing intermediaries and manual efforts through automation. So next, I'll just, I'll just be doing a demo for merchant onboarding use case. So now, Let's just shift to VMware. So first, there will be a web entry for us to in input the uh, uh, corporate UEN. So before we start, let's just do a verification that our application has already been deployed in KIE, JBPM KIE Workbench. So here in uh, server, we, so here in service, we're able to see merchant onboarding has already been deployed. And here we can see For process instance, actually here there is no instance existing yet. So what I'm going to do is, uh, sorry, what I'm going to do is I will just input the corporate UEN number. So there will be a web service. There will be a web service calling to Accra to retrieve the corporate information. Here the information are presented. And if we decide to to proceed, then we will be able to we will be able to proceed and some more information are required here. So we're going to import let's use this positive case. We're going to import CEO and RIC net income let's say 1 million employee size let's say uh, 1000 uh, founding year let's say this this was uh, old company 
founding country we, we, we will be able to select from the drop down list and also we are able to define it as a Singapore company total deposit here let's say we have uh, 300,000 Uh, VAT ID here actually we have not yet implemented but this would be the future uh, future enhancement so here I can just import something so after submit the rest web service will be called uh, to create this instance in uh, J uh, JBPM server so now let me submit so here if we refresh We'll be able to see this merchant onboarding process has already been created by rest web service and if we're going to tasks we'll be able to see one task has been assigned to me and what we're going to do is claim this task make sure it's claimed and we're going to look into this task so here the input value has already been carried carried forward into JBPM server and the value are passed through JSON strings. So we'll be able to see these other values I have imported before. So here we'll be able to see we're using this uh, certain effect to calculate the risk of the company. Here we are able to see the, uh, uh, there, there are three areas we're doing for this certain effect. One is uh, financial, operational and the credibility so here we'll be able to see the uh, certainty factor is pretty high so we're using zero to one as the minimum and the maximum value so uh, points point six are actually uh, a very high value for us to to approve so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to start this task uh, by by having this value i will just approve this merchant onboarding request and click complete so now it's completed now let's go back to this web application here if we click check status we'll be able to see your assess assessment result is approved so this is a this is a positive positive flow overview so now let's go back to our slides So with the demo, actually we have come to the end of the presentation. In future iteration of solution, the following enhancement can be considered. Integration with public available data. Integration with data exchange agency platform. Enhancement with machine learning modules. Validation as a service. Expansion to regional country data source. So based on, based on above I have presented, I. Uh, we really believe that this product is actually uh, a product that many enterprises are really uh, requiring for their uh, for their for for their uh, worthiness validation process and uh, especially for merchant onboarding. So this is our presentation. Thank you for your time.